10 Insane Conspiracy Theories About the New World Order 10. The Ten Kings Prophecy The idea for this prophecy comes from the Book of Revelation, where it refers to ten kings of ten nations. The idea is, you have these ten nations that come to power, with ten kings who rule over the world. Or to quote Revelation, Revelation 17.12, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings, one hour with the beast. So the idea is you end up with ten kingdoms, which are given to these ten kings, on behalf of the beast, the devil. Many conspiracy theorists who believe in this particular line of prophecy link it to the Club of Rome. The Club of Rome, which is often referred to as a key player in the New World Order, spoke at one point about dividing the world into ten sectors, with ten representatives, as in one for each zone. Many people saw this as fulfilment, or potential fulfilment, of this revelation prophecy. And indeed some conspiracy theorists suggest that the G8 may become one day the G10. And at that point, those ten nations with their ten leaders, presidents, kings or otherwise, will fulfil the revelation prophecy. 9. Population control. The idea is that to maintain an iron grip over humanity and the world and the secretive technology they have, the New World Order will wipe out the vast majority of human beings, leaving less than 2 billion people on the planet. These people will be the best engineers, scientists, writers, the best thinkers, the people they need for a perfected society, a new world world order. There are several ideas of how this might be achieved, including global conflict, a bioengineered virus, the use of vaccines slowly weakening the human race, and chemicals in food and the water supply that encourage sterility. 8. Silent Sound Spread Spectrum The idea is a method of mind control, of transmitting particular sound frequencies to encourage particular types of actions. It's been suggested by conspiracy theorists that when the New World Order take power, absolute power, they need only flip a switch and instantly control the world population. Of course, many people link this idea to HARP and other relating projects. There's even some claims by some conspiracy theorists that the US military used such technology on Iraqi troops during the invasion of Iraq in 2003 which apparently caused the Iraqi soldiers to surrender immediately. However, this theory has not been fully demonstrated by any means, and the idea of setting up a global network to control every human being, or even every human being in America, is highly improbable. 7. Blueprints in Literature This conspiracy theory focuses on a book written by H.G. Wells. The Open Conspiracy Blueprints for a World Revolution. In this book he lays out a recipe for establishing a new world order that would last for generations. Over a decade later he wrote another book called The New World Order. As an outspoken socialist he believed that a world government was inevitable. That widespread eugenics was the proper cause for humanity. He had many ideas like this and posed them in a fictional manner for his audience. Sadly, conspiracy theorists take his words as being literally true and being a literal blueprint for an actual New World Order. So when a top politician says they like a particular book, written by H.G. Wells, they assume there's a connection, including the belief that it's required reading by those within the global establishment. 6. Majestic Twelve According to conspiracy theorists, in the 1940s, President Truman commissioned a secret committee of scientists and government employees to keep track of UFOs that were plaguing American skies. The organisation, Majestic 12, was kept above top secret, but over the years various documents have surfaced that seem to prove their existence. 
However, there's an even greater conspiracy theory which says Majestic 12 was a distraction, was fake, and in fact was to safeguard those aliens who actually run the show. While people are worrying about things like Majestic 12 and their operations, the actual aliens themselves are able to get on with their business of controlling humanity through the human elite within power right now. 5. The Bohemian Grove The Bohemian Grove is a very real thing. It's a campground in Sonoma County, California, and it's owned by the Bohemian Club, a group containing top politicians, world leaders, artists, incredibly wealthy individuals of all kinds, including captains of industry, and the club itself boasts several thousand members. According to one writer who sneaked in, the retreat involves a lot of drinking and peeing in the bushes. However, many people who haven't actually been there claim that Bohemian Grove is a dark place of pagan rituals. According to some, there's human sacrifice and worshipping of a god called Moloch. Reported members include Ronald Reagan, the Bushes, Henry Kissinger, and Nixon. And in fact, Richard Nixon called it the most faggy, godded thing you could ever imagine. 4. The Geronimo Skull According to the Apache Warlord's descendants who sued Yale University in 2009, Prescott Bush, George W.'s grandfather, and the group of Skull and Bones members raided Geronimo's grave and made off with his skull and left hand. And they placed the skull in a glass case in the secretive tomb where the society holds their meetings. Why this relates to New World Order is because of the history of the Skull and Bone Society and how it relates back to its origins or potential origins in Germany in the 1800s. So the claim is of a connection between the Skull and Bone Society and the Bavarian Illuminati which links it to the idea of forming a one government world. To cut a long story short, the idea is that Geronimo's skull was blessed with unnatural powers due to his tribal traditions. Prescott Bush at least believed this to some degree because of some of the traditions of the Skull and Bone Society, which may have some links to other secret societies too. The belief of some conspiracy theorists is that this relic of power was appropriated by the Skull and Bone Society for their own use. 3. The Surveillance Industrial Complex The idea of a surveillance industrial complex, which is often called mass surveillance, is a widespread plan to keep tabs on the world's population. Of course, in reality, many nations have had a system of heavy surveillance. The USSR had massive surveillance of its population. The idea of modern surveillance is technological surveillance. The stated goals of such programs is supposedly for security, the sort of things you'd expect involved in policing the internet, thwarting terrorism, cracking down on child pornography, and other such issues. However, New World Order conspiracy theorists claim their motivations are much, much darker. Two. Chemtrail superweapons. Contrails are common to the sky. Some of them dissipate more quickly, some more slowly, depending on atmospheric conditions and altitude. Conspiracy theorists say that not all of them are truly contrails, that some at least are chemtrails. These chemtrails are spread by specialist government-owned planes to poison the atmosphere. Some people have suggested they're spreading mind-controlling chemicals, bioweapons, and some people claim it's weather-altering technology. The idea of weather control, perhaps one of the most widespread theories about chemtrails, is that the chemicals spewed out of government planes are designed to create a special atmospheric condition which allow manipulation of weather conditions all over the planet. And of course, conspiracy theorists' claims are in the extreme, including the idea that Obama created Hurricane Sandy. Some people even claim this technology is used 
to melt the Arctic ice cap. And according to the people who believe this, the idea is that by engineering weather, as well as political conditions, you engineer the results towards a global regime. 1. Post-humans and the technological singularity. The idea is that the New World Order wishes to create a breed of superhumans called post-humans. So the idea is that it's going to come about in two ways. The first will be the initial birth of post-humans in the inner circle of the New World Order leaders. According to the conspiracy theory, they will be so advanced that regular humans like us will think of them as gods. The second is going to be a rapid advancement of technology that eventually accumulates in artificial intelligence and a technological singularity, which is the point where AI overtakes human intelligence. This is the point when humanity truly changes, where a ruling elite of super beings rule over a robot race and the lower classes of humanity are obliterated and replaced in their duties by these robots. And if you thought that's insane, that's because this is the 10 insane conspiracy theories about the New World Order. Lastly, share your thoughts below and go and subscribe to Jeff and Agent of Dow. I appreciate their work and they're people who try and interact with the YouTube community.